hello everybody from the port of New Orleans where things are kind of crazy. Oh, they're making an announcement. Let's listen. Oh. Okay. Last time we sailed from here, 2020. Right before COVID shut everything down. Literally right before. A month before it shut down. The yep, we'll see security is improved. We didn't have to take tablets out of our thing. They're announcing family of the day. Um, the parking was kind of parking fiasco. Was kind of a fiasco because we read one thing and then experienced a different thing, but drop off was kind of a fiasco. Yay, whoever. Um, there was a giant line outside of people who had much later port arrival times. We had an 11.15, and I think the earliest was 11. Um, came, finally got to the front of where we were supposed to be, got inside. Security went super quick. It was. It was really quick from the time that we got into the building to the time that we were uh, actually through security. So that was, Check-in that was, was super quick, too. However... Everybody that's not concierge went into the same line. So there's no platinum line, there's no gold line, there's no there's one line. Mm -hmm. But that went fairly quickly Pretty as quick. well. Um, they just are having family of the day go up right now. We are boarding group four. So it is 11.35. I imagine we'll probably be boarding the ship around noon. Yeah, it shouldn't be too, too. Um, And the plan is to go straight to... Because unlike last time we sailed from here, it is hot. Yes. When we sailed three years ago, it was like 50 degrees and cold. Yeah. So this is yeah. Daddy's last cruise is gold. Yep. So I earn platinum this cruise, and then when we sail on the Wonder, I will sail with my platinum lanyard. Yay. You'll stay gold. Your first cruise is gold was on the Fantasy, which was Christian, and my first cruise was platinum. Yep. Because we have five more cruises than you, and two more cruises than Daddy. Yep.
Please imagine, please welcome for the Brim family. Oh, that's Goofy! Goofy. Uh -huh. What's your name? Whitaker? Whitaker? Please imagine, please welcome for the Whitaker family. Hi, Goofy! Does he have to please welcome for the Larry family? Does he have to please welcome for the Tizzy family? Yeah! Does he have to please welcome for the You have officially stepped on your last that you needed Disney ship, Bella. Are you excited? Yes. Okay, Bella and I have gotten our food. Bella has carbs, carbs, and carbs, but I have some carbs too. Howard and Christian are on their way out, and then we're gonna. Maybe you show some of what's on the buffet and um, head out to the pool deck for some more stuff. How's your cheesecake, Christian? Is it Oreo cheesecake? How's your chicken tender? We got some pizza. Fresh out of the oven pizza too. Very hot. I've got some shawarma, I got some lamb with some chili mayo and some lettuce. And you got some pizza that's got a big old slice of mayo and it's supposed to be a feta pizza as well. I see the feta. And olives. Whoa, look at that cheese pole. Yeah, you go like it. Haha, you pulled it. Alright, well tell me how this pizza is. I'm not trying it. I don't like olives. You can take the olives. Pretty good. Tastes like a supreme pizza. Really all tastes like pizza. Bella is going up to ride the twist and spout. And you gotta go up these steps and follow the duck footprints. Hey, wait for the green light, okay? I am not, I'm only wearing half of my bathing suit, so we're gonna go down and wait for her. Tell Daddy how many times you went down the slide. Five. Five times? That's a lot of times. Was it fun? <laughs> yeah. And it's a lot longer than the Mickey slide on the Fantasy, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you ready to go in the pool? Should we let Daddy open it since he wasn't here the last time? Watch out, there's a stroller behind you. Okay, we're getting closer. Okay, we're going to enter our stateroom. Entree. And we got lanyards and stuff that we don't have to go fight for. Okay, welcome to stateroom 6603 on the Disney Magic where you first step in and the light switches are outside. This is a standard inside stateroom, so there's only one bathroom. We've got the sink, the H2O lotion, 
and hand soap, toilet, towels. There's a little bit of space um, on the sink for storage as well. It's shower with H2O body wash, shampoo and conditioner, excuse the bathing suits that are drying up on the handy dandy clothes rack. And then on the back of the door, there is a knob for hanging things. Boo. Boo. Um, right outside the bathroom, we have the closet. Lots and lots of hanging space. My hands are going to Life jackets. And then on the other side, we have some more hanging space, the bunk bed ladder, mm -hmm. the safe, and some storage space. Got the desk, which has currently our welcome aboard stuff for Castaway Gold, which gets a 10% discount on merchandise, and Castaway Platinum, which also gets the discount as well as free polo and a gift. Um, we're going to go with the chocolate truffles again, I think this time, which is what we went with last time. They were quite tasty. Also here on the desk, we have a big mirror. Hi. Over here we have the TV. Yes, the TV that swivels. And underneath the TV is the Christian Not a beverage, beverage cooler. Above the TV, we've got For the people some who really deep their food storage space up here. Yet. And I'm then we have got these nice lights. Look at the Mickey. And then down here, we've got the drawer with the mat for like curling irons and straighteners, hair dryer. And then three drawers. Wanted to make sure one of them wasn't a trick, like looked like one or looked like two, but was one. And then we have the table, the couch that will fold out into a bed when our stateroom attendant puts it down. Okay, I'm okay. We have a dream is a wish your heart makes. And then up top is the other bed. You can kind of see where it will sit against the wall there. Um, that will be brought down. Bella's going to sleep on that tonight. And then at the back of the room, we have the main bed with our platinum cooler bag. So we have another one of those. Some uh, Castaway Club luggage tags, which were very helpful in finding Howard's bag when he came back from his deployment. And our lanyards. Two platinum, two gold. Um, back by the bed, there are two a drawer on each side. Some fun pillows that are very soft. This is the soft one, and this is the not soft one, I think. The differentiated by the stripe on the pillowcase. The lampshades, which aren't completely accurate anymore because they show the ships, but you know, the wish has been added. But they have the cute Mickey's on the bottom. I still want these for my house. Light switch here, turns off that light. This light switch down here, turns off the overhead light. And this light on it, this switch on here. Turns off that light. Um, plug situation. I don't think there are any. I don't see any plugs by. Well, any USB plugs. I don't see any there USB are some regular. Um, but over here on the desk, hiding behind the backpack, we have some regular American plugs, uh, USB light switches, the some more regular plugs, and then some. Uh, uh, 220 voltage. So that is the tour of the inside of the state. state room. I think when you turn this off, oh, it got really dark. That's supposed to turn on, but I did, I did bring a nightlight. We're going to go check out the club. Okay. Out the Oceaneer Lab. Sorry. 
Here we have the craft studio where they've got some more coloring and a super cool map. All kinds of cool craft stuff. Here's where we got movies right now, but sometimes there's video games and the ship simulators over here in the wheelhouse. And then back this way is where the boys' bathroom is, I think. Main areas where they like to play games. They got some stacking, huge, huge, huge stacking cups right now. Sometimes they have movies on in the center. Sometimes they play games in the center. Over here, they got tables where sometimes they've got games set up. Sometimes they do things like make slime with um, stitch, or I'm sorry, space goo, not slime. But the tables are super cool too. And then... Over here is the other bathroom. This is the girls' room. Over here, probably just doing secured programming, which is when there's only kids in here, no adults or anything. Um, they normally have tablets set up on this ta these tables. At least that's how it was last time we sailed on this ship. We'll have to ask the kids uh, when they come in if that's the case still. That's how it was in the Star Wars rooms on um, the dream and the fantasy, so we'll see. Was Finding Nemo on the Funnel Vision? the part that Christian loved the most the last time we were on a small ship and the time before that and the time before that and the time before that is the secret passage. This hallway is open between the club and the lab during secured programming where they can decide to go between the club and the lab. It's also open during open house, obviously, but if one club, one side has open house, like the club has open house and the lab is for secured programming, then the hallway will be closed so they can only stay on the side that has secured programming. Walking in here, we've got the Disney Junior Room where Ratatouille is on. We've got the Marvel Superhero Academy. Kids can come in here and do Avengers stuff. <coughs> oh, pardon me. This room is mostly for video games, um, but sometimes they have other stuff in here. Outside of the Marvel Superhero Academy, there is the boys' room. Look how cute those mirrors are. And then over here, Isabella, is the girls' room with Daisy. Middle section they've got this cool TV that's got all these cool books around it and then if we come over here we have Pixie Hollow which is normally like arts and crafts and tablets room kind of but it's pretty cute and here we have Andy's room the room that all the kids love best because it has the slinky dog slide up at the top of the colorful steps, you come to Andy's bed, complete with Buzz Lightyear bedspread and pillow, which I'm pretty sure is squishy. I don't remember. It's been a while since we were on a small ship. Let's see. Yeah, that's squishy. And then Slinky's butt on some checkers is the top of the slide. Oh, it convinced me to go down the slide. Whee! small world nursery during its one and only open house which is before the drill on the first day it is for ages six months to through three years if your child is not ready for the club 
Christian had a lot of fun in here when he was real little. And then when he was two and a half, he absolutely hated it. And they've got spots for napping and coloring and cars is on and all kinds of toys. It's a good place for kids to come and have fun. Right, Christian?
answer a work question. And the sun's going down and it's super pretty. Sailing down the river fairly slowly. You guys having a good cruise so far? Good to be back on a ship. It's been a year for you. Yes. Daddy said after dinner, maybe. Okay. This evening we are in Lumiere's where there are roses everywhere because, I mean, it's Beauty and the Beast. I'm gonna go check out the mural on the back wall real quick. At the back of the restaurant, we have this beautiful mural. Oh, just ran into a chair with the restaurant's namesake of Lumiere, but we also have Belle and the Beast and Mrs. Cox and Cogsworth. Bread has arrived. And I believe it is French bread with olive oil. You're still looking at the menu. What is it? I'd say it is. So it's warm French country bread with an olive spread. Very good. I have the escargot. Well, I should probably get some bread. Hang on. With this nice bread stick. Mostly to goop up the oil and garlic afterwards. That is quite tasty. Wow, garlic. But that's good. There's no such thing as too much garlic, right? Oh, Christian says there is such a thing. Mostly got it for the chutney. Yeah, it's the best. It really is. Is the cheese melty? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's melty. Yep. As we've talked about before, the only problem with the brie is it does have the rind on, so it does have that like bitey taste to it. Have they always used mashed potatoes to set the the brie? Okay, well they had mashed potatoes to set it. We got the farmhouse salad, yeah. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. It's a good salad. Thank you. The only problem with the salad. Oh my gosh. Give Polly more french fries. Very good. Got a nice vinaigrette. Um, the potatoes are really good in it. So are the tomatoes. Got the french onion soup, which does not have as much cheese on it as he's used to. But it's probably a good thing because if you watched our video of the fantasy, that soup burnt my mouth and I couldn't taste anything for days. So let's see. It's still hot, but it's nowhere near as hot. Nice oniony flavor. The bread's nice on top. Still good soup. Okay, I have the Chateaubriand cooked medium, which it looks like a nice medium. Oh, because you don't. So they have peppercorns in the grinder, like and they grind that up fresh. They, they don't do that with like big salt crystals. So that'd be kind of weird. So let's try the steak itself. The steak is really good. Let's try the green beans. Um, crispier than I like, but that's the they would be approved by Food Network. And the potato. It's all pretty good. 
All right, so I have the duck, the roasted duck with parsnip uh, puree and some it's like cabbage. It's usually pretty good. Um, Why is there any uh, pepper, I guess? Thingy, All right, so let's see how it is. That's okay. It's a bit dry, but um, the sauce on top is uh, is pretty good. So. You enjoy it? Um, hey! Thank you. Is it yummy? It's a lot better than the last one I had. The souffle, it use a little bit more flavor, but it's, it's not bad. It isn't. It's a lot better than the last one I had. It's piping hot, so the cake is really good. Would you recommend it? I would for the young ladies. Chocolate duo slice, no sugar added because it's super chocolatey. If you like chocolate, don't let the no sugar added like deter you. Get this chocolate. Good. I really like uh, Maximus. Maximus is my favorite. But Max is your favorite, yeah. no matter what. That's so. so I liked it. I really, oh, yeah, really mommy. I like my mom's love and the storm. Oh yeah? Did you like the show? Yeah. Yeah? Is Rapunzel your favorite princess? Yes. Yeah. And Ariel. And Ariel? Okay, very good. So if you don't know, Tangled's my favorite Disney movie, Rapunzel's my favorite princess, and the last time we were on this ship we did not see Tangled, and I'm glad we went and saw it because it was really good. And just like every time I watch Tangled, I cried. Hi, Minnie. Hello. Say hi. Can you take a picture? Hi. Go ahead. Yeah, there you go. No. <laughs> it's a big hug you got there. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, we're picking up her brother from the club. She went to see Tangled and he didn't want to go see it, so. <laughs> All the hair, yeah. <laughs> Say thank you. 
Oh. oh, you're fine. Huh? Yeah. It's just fall. We have come up to deck nine to get some ice cream. And the uh, it's kind of foggy. They've been blowing the fog horn every once in a while. Maybe I'll catch it. Um, and I'll maybe avoid the copyrighted music. However, uh, that's fog blowing around in the wind up there. And that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, we've made it to the room where we have a some kind of bird creature reading on the bed. Did you guys have a good first day? Yes. What was your favorite part? This ice cream for now. <laughs> Did you I like the show part? You liked the show? Did you guys have fun at the club? Yes. Was your dinner good? Yes. Was just being like back on a ship pajama good? Pajama party. Yeah, pajama party. So Christian, tell me more about the pajama party real quick. Okay. Like Pillowcases. Bella said there was games. And Pluto yeah. was there. Can you put my Alright. It has been a long day. It is um, 10 o'clock and literally everybody's been up since at least 6.30. Some of us have been up longer. Some of us got up earlier to work out. So we're going to call it a night and we will see you in the morning.